All right, today I want to share a few plugins for DaVinci Resolve that you absolutely need to know about. I use these on a daily basis and they're completely free. Even if they're not useful to you, there's no harm in giving them a try. All right, without spending too much time, let's start with my favorite one, which is the Magic Zone from Mr. Alex Tech. This plugin basically allows you to have smooth zooms like this in a very easy and effective way. You can drag the effect into the clip, but in my case I like to use an adjustment layer, as this will affect everything underneath that layer. Which means if you have text or any other element, everything will zoom in together with the clip. And you can also easily control how long you want the effect to last by controlling the length of the adjustment layer. So in this plugin you get different zoom types, you have the standards, the zoom and hold, the hold and zoom out, which basically starts with the clip zoomed in and then it zooms out, and the mirror, which basically zooms in, holds for a few seconds and then zooms back out. You can also customize the curve of the zoom with a ton of different options, each giving you different types of zoom effects. You can also add motion blur and even camera shake if you want to. I'm honestly amazed how good this plugin is and the fact that it's free completely blows my mind. So thanks to Mr. Alex Tech for making such an epic plugin that we can all use for free. I also recommend you to check his YouTube channel and I will leave the link in the description below. The next plugin that I use all the time is called MCam Rig. It's a plugin from Motion VFX that gives you dynamic camera animations and basically turns your clips into 3D. This works the same way as the previous plugin. All you have to do is drag the effect into your clip or into an adjustment layer. You then get different zoom controls, including a zoom pivot that lets you zoom into specific parts of the frame, and you can also control the tilt, the pan, and the roll, which basically gives you this 3D effect. And you get a ton of other customization options. For example, you have the option to control the sharpness of the clip, you can add a prism effect, which simulates chromatic aberration, I believe, and you can also add Gaussian blur and control not only the blur amount, but the blur range as well. And besides all this, you can also pixelate your clip or even add a grid, which simulates a screen overlay. The customizations are endless with this plugin and the fact that it's free is just another reason to give it a try. They also have other free plugins on their website so I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can check them out. And finally, the next plugin is called Picture in Picture Pro by Patrick Sterling. This works great in tutorials like this as I can have my face on top of a screen recording. To use this, simply drag it into the clip and go into the inspector tab and then you'll have access to a ton of options. You can change the shape to a star, a circle, a square or an end gone. You can change how many sides it has, the width and the height. You can even make it into a rectangle if you want to. Aside from that, you also have individual controls for the footage where you can change things like the position, the scale, rotation and even the edge blur. Another cool thing that you can customize is the outline. You can change the color to whatever you want, the thickness, the position, the length and so much more. We're even able to control the shadow by turning it on or off or changing things like the distance, the angle and the strength. It's yet another great plugin to have it installed. It's free and it works great. So thank you to Patrick for making this all available to us. He also has an amazing YouTube channel so I recommend you to check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. And that's it for this video, if you guys liked it, please leave a comment below and I might just do a part 2 with more amazing free plugins like these. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.